What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now Plus. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about that Days Gone petition once again. Now, I, I made a video when this thing started. I talked about what, and I did it on the main channel. If you guys missed that video, it's on the main channel. But I talked about, you know, could it do anything, basically? I mean, uh, you know, petitions are great. And they, uh, specifically for a game like this, they're one way of showing, you know, you support something, you don't support something, you know, whatever the, the case may be. Um, I think there's other ways to support Days Gone besides just the petition. So this is a little bit of a different example, right? Because petition's out, but also you literally have a game in the franchise in Days Gone that you could support. And that would be a fantastic way of showing support. So just uh, throwing that out. I'm not, like, suggesting anything. I'm just throwing it out there. But, you know, we talked about that all in the beginning. Well, now... At the time I'm recording this, I think it's over 104,000 uh, signatures, okay? It's pushing for 150. It's slowed a lot since it got to, like, 90, but it's still growing. It's still absolutely growing. I don't think, I don't, well, I was going to say I don't think. I don't know if it'll hit 150. I feel like it could completely die out around maybe 115, 120. That's not saying, like, that's nothing. Like, 120,000 signatures is quite a big deal. So, the question is, well, no, well, I guess there's two things we need to do here. Number one, we need to celebrate it, okay? And number two, we need to question, again, like we in the beginning, but now that it's reached uh, really high numbers and much higher numbers than I think the expectation was, I'll say that, does it do anything, right? We have to kind of revisit that. So let me let me just say number one for the celebration. Uh, that's fantastic. I'm really happy to see a game like this be supported. Honestly, specifically with, like, with this petition, again, I mean, it's great, and uh, I'm not against petitions whatsoever, but You've seen support for this game, at least I have. I don't know about you, but I definitely have seen support of this game just non-stop, even before this petition, over on Twitter, on YouTube, just people playing the game. And I said this, you know, back when the petition was started. It really feels like the game continues to get more and more popular, like, every single day. And even people that have never signed the petition, that doesn't make them any less than, than anybody else. And I think there's many other ways, like I said, that I think they could have supported this game. Yes, I know Days Gone, you know, was out in the, the PS Plus collection. Obviously, Days Gone was the PS Plus game of last month. So a lot of people that have never played the never bought the game, never put money down towards the game, were able to play this game absolutely for free. I mean, I get, even in my own tweets, and I'm not the biggest Twitter, you know, user of all time, or I don't have the most followers, even in my own tweets, I routinely see people say that they just started playing it for the first time. Um, I follow people that, you know, that obviously used to work on the game, and they're constantly Constantly liking or retweeting or replying to people every single day that said, you know, for the first time I'm playing Days Gone, I absolutely love it. Or that they platinum the game. It was their first platinum. I mean, you see it all the time. And honestly, you saw it before the petition. Okay. So, you know, to me, the shocker with, uh, you know, when, when this whole news story came out with Days Gone, like it, it, like, it really did shock me because I understand it. I get it. I get it. If the game didn't sell well and the budget was really high, all that stuff. But I think, like, based off of what I was, I was seeing or what we're all seeing, I think this game is enormously popular, much more popular now than it was, uh, you know, a couple of years ago when the game came out. Yeah, it may have only sold four or five million in the first little while to make them money and that kind of evened out their budget and maybe it's a Sony that wasn't enough but I mean looking now I, I now they've never said they never said the the figures I would not be surprised if 10 plus million people have played Days Gone at this point you have all the people that bought it say four or five million and then could you double that with being on PS Plus collection so anybody who has PlayStation Plus on the PS5 could have played uh, played Days Gone PS5 has sold what like eight million uh, eight million ish units so yes I know not everybody has PS Plus but that's a lot of people then you have the uh, then you have PlayStation Plus in general right for for April I mean there's a lot there's a uh, 45 46 47 million people that, that, that have a PS plus so what's their excuse so I would say adding 5 million is kind of an under thing it really could have been much much more the game could have had 10 15 even 20 million players that have at one time played the game so now I don't know how that compares to other games I don't know um, if you do Horizon or if you did God of War or Spider-Man you know I don't know what those numbers would be in compare probably low Pro I mean let's be honest it would be lower than those games but 
it's still decent size. And I, I, I mean, it's much bigger than decent. There's a lot of games. There's most 99% of games in the world can't claim to have done what Days Gone did. Even though Days Gone was uh, definitely a smaller one of Sony's bigger, you know, projects. It was, it was on the smaller side. And uh, you, but it still has done what other games could only have dreamed of, right? So there is a lot of congratulations uh, to give them. There is uh, awareness. I would say that a lot of people have been supporting this game for a long time, and there's new people. Which, by the way, in case you guys are wondering, I d I bought the game day one, so I was like a day one. Now I didn't. I never beat the game. I've never beaten the game. I played probably. 10, 12 hours, and I jumped out. Um, uh, but, I mean, I liked my time quite a bit. Over the last year and a half, I've gotten much, much, much better at beating games. But before, the, you know, before this last year and a half, I beat next to zero games. Okay, uh, very, very few. They'd have to be very, very special, or uh, I, I don't even know what the what the um, qualifications would be for the game to be beaten by me. But Days Gone did not meet that qualification, okay? But I was still impressed by it. I still liked it. I was 100% rooting for Days Gone 2. I supported it on YouTube. I made multiple videos. Videos. I talked about the ending. I talked about a Days Gone 2. I gave them loads of praise just in case you guys were wondering. Now, that was all on my main channel, okay? But just in case you guys were wondering for me. Now, does 100k do anything? Um, Well, that's difficult because I do think, especially as the social media age rages on, right? I do think companies pay attention. I really do. I mean, we've, we've had pretty much confirmation that even companies like Disney does watch things. They watch hashtags. They watch trends online. We know that, okay? Now, how much does that influence their decision? Sometimes it's a lot. Sometimes it's a lot more than it probably should be. And other times, like, uh, so, like, Gina Carano was a time where I think they listened to a small minority, okay? Whereas the Johnny Depp situation, they're not listening to literally the majority of people. So, very backwards, I would say, over all, but they do, I think they do pay attention. I do think, by the way, they do see the Justice for Giant Up stuff, and by the way, hashtag Justice for Giant Up, but for Days Gone, for Sony, I mean, it, it is still the same thing I said in the beginning where it's like, okay, you have 100,000 people that signed this. Now, you don't know if they're all real people. I think they probably are. Is it possible to have bots do this change.org thing? Maybe. I, I'm honestly, I'm not really, um, I don't really know too much about it in, in all, but, you know, say you have 100,000 unique people, and say you've guaranteed that you're going to get those people to buy the game. Well, in all honesty, that's not even close to being enough. You know what I mean? So, like, it's it's the sad truth, and it's the thing I said right in the beginning, where it's like, look, the game sold, say, four or five million units in the beginning, and that was deemed not enough. So, if the game needed to sell six, seven, eight million units, you have secured 100,000. That's what you've done. You've secured 100,000 people to buy the game. So... It's a big number when you look at it. It's one of the highest numbers on, you know, on the on the website of change.org. It's one of the highest petitions. Phenomenal. But in reality, when you kind of step back and you look at it and you say, "Okay, well what is it really?" It's really 100,000 people saying, "We want Days Gone 2." Okay? But does that does that to Sony, do they look at that and say, "Oh yeah, that's enough. That's enough." I mean, at the same time, I will give them this. I'll give them the the, the benefit of the doubt, but not even just that. Like, I do believe this. That's just a small sample of the uh, the representation of people, I should say. You know, what I mean? and, and by that I mean like there are numerous people that, even if you think about it, there's people that bought the game. Obviously, so say five million people bought it that did not sign this petition. I mean, that's just basic math. Not everybody who bought the game, you know, signed the petition. Not everybody who's played it for free on PlayStation Plus has signed the petition. So, like, yes, it's a hundred thousand. It's a lot. Then you look at it really and you say, well. If the game has sold this much or this amount of people have played it, it actually is next to nothing. But then you say, well, that's why you have those other things. The petition is kind of going out of your way. You know, if you're playing the game, who's to say you're going to go online and sign a petition? I mean, you're playing the game. You're supporting it that way. In fact, I would argue, and I've always said this, that is the bigger way. At the end of the day, these companies make decisions based off of money, okay? I've said it for Justice for Giant Up. I am so happy those petitions, like the Amber Heard one, 2 million, like I want her gone, okay? Johnny Depp, I mean, I want him back for Pirates, all that stuff. Like, I'm so happy that those petitions are like the biggest petitions in the world, right? But at the same time, if they make a lot of money from these projects, they do not care what these petitions say. If people are still going to go see Aquaman, if it's going to make over a billion dollars, they will not care that 2 million people sign the petition. They just won't. You need to speak with your wallet. That I mean, that's like well, that's the only thing these companies know how to, how to deal with is money. You know what I mean? So, and I've said that for Disney. I'm saying that right now. I'm not saying they're evil. No, some of them are. But I'm not saying, you know, specifically in this case, like Sony is evil and they're not going to care about these people. I don't think that's true. I do think they care. And I think if they could get this thing going, 
going while guaranteeing themselves that they would make money from it, they would. They would have already started making it. You know what I mean? So I want to give them kind of the benefit of the doubt on that end. But I mean, the biggest way to support, or the biggest way to support Days Gone 2 is supporting Days Gone. It's playing Days Gone. It's buying Days Gone. Now, harder to do that now because like everybody who's gonna play days gone has already played it on, on, on pc that's not true though right so if you have a pc if you've never played days gone buy it you know what i mean and that's a good way uh, because it's money it's i mean it's literally money going into their pockets uh coming from days gone they're looking at it and they're saying oh my god it's still earning us revenue and stuff like that that's the biggest way uh, again for an example like movies for an example like a game like this where a game already exists money is very important i would say much more important than a petition for an say like a game like sly cooper a game like sly the only way to make your voice heard about sly is like petitions and is a uh, talk online it's hashtags and it's youtube videos right that's the only way because you, no no you can't even buy the old i mean you can in the terms of like the remastered for like ps3 but like you know what i mean like there's no way of, of supporting sly cooper with your wallet where sony's gonna see it and say oh these people want sly you know what i mean there's no way of doing that the only way is talk whereas for days gone that's not true whatsoever the biggest way is money secondary way is talking like on petitions and stuff like that that's my and same thing with movies right that for movies it's all about money you cannot support things that don't have giant up so if there's a new pirates movie without him you don't support it that's sending them a money message the amber heard stuff with aquaman if you don't go see it that's sending them a money message signing the petition is good too and that definitely could help but it's not as big of a help as you know taking money away from them let's say you know what i mean so i know this kind of went everywhere but i'm very proud of you know the people that signed this petition i want days gone to literally just as much as anybody else out there i'm rooting for it. i do think it'll happen i should have maybe said that at some point earlier i do think we'll get a days gone to probably after their next game it really seems like their next game isn't days gone to so probably new game and then maybe sony does something where they they like again make us happy and they say okay we're consumer friendly again we'll, ha we'll have them make days gone too right that's kind of what i think could happen um but i really don't think it's going to happen right now so let me know guys in the comments below what do you think did the hundred thousand k you think it's going to do anything how do you think we get a days gone to let me know as always make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel hit the bell icon so you guys know when all these videos go up give this video a like if you did like it definitely helps youtube spread the video out i do a brand new video on this channel every single day and so i hope to see you guys for tomorrow's video